Congratulations are in order, Julie. I understand uh, you guys got a huge honor today. Uh, they're at Bozeman at, at a meeting of schools. So tell me what happened. So up until this time, um, MBI has been going on in the state, which is the Montana Behavioral Initiative. They're celebrating their 20th year this year. And up until this time, this year, there has only been one platinum level award winner. And that was, I believe, Stevensville Elementary last year. So this year, there were three other schools besides us, but we are the first middle school in the entire state to ever receive platinum status at the MBI Awards. Congratulations. Would, would you please explain what uh, what MBI is? What What's the Montana Behavioral Institute all about? Initiative, rather. Initiative, yes. So um, it's based on the national model of PBIS. I know there's so many acronyms in education, <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, but positive behavioral systems of support. Um, and so in Montana, it's the same thing. It's implementing different tiers, tier one, tier two, and tier three levels of support that, so that students can be successful both academically and um, social emotionally, behaviorally, you know, they, they just can be successful at school at all levels. So when, when I hear the word behavioral uh, initiative, I think of things like, you know, stopping bullying, trying to be cooperative, things like that. Yes, and it's being proactive and positive. So when kids are taught common expectations and they're taught across the board, every single student in every single setting in the school, when they're taught these um, expectations and they're reinforced on a regular basis, you know, it, the research shows that they will respond and that they rise to those standards. And so that's what we focused on is being positive and proactive and just creating a, a culture at our school where kids feel safe, they feel valued, and they're engaged in the learning process. All right. Anything else you'd like to share with, uh, with our listeners regarding uh, what's going on there at your school? Well, we're actually part of um, a state system, so is Paxson. We've been part of a grant for the last two years, and honestly, that helped us reach this status because of our dedication to this, um, it's called another acronym, um, Project Real, but really it's about multi-tiered systems of support. So some people are focusing, some schools are just focusing on behavior, and some schools are just focusing on academics. And what we're doing at CS Porter that is unique and really forward-thinking is we braid everything we do. So we're all of the initiatives we're working on, whether it's Any Given Child or Project Lead the Way, everything falls under the braids of academics, behavior, and culture. So that it doesn't seem like we're doing a million things. It just all fits together under our expectations of, you know, positive, positive school climate.